Tajahao. When we talk about the Chinese and Asian students, hello, good morning, good evening, good night. It depends about whatever you are in worldwide. My name is Manu Sanchez Monasterio. I'm a marketing professor, marketing to China professor at uh, the Autonomous University of Barcelona. And I'm very glad to introduce you with this video, basically the Pemasters Autonomous University of Barcelona a specialization course in Euro-Asian business management. Basically, we will talk about the main roadmap in order to build and create a winner marketing plan for the European and Asian markets. And we will focus the content basically in three chapters. The first one drives us to the concept international strategic management in Asian markets. And here we will talk about the main strategies, marketing to Asia and marketing to China, strategies that should be followed in order to have a winner position in the Asian and the Chinese market. And why Asia and why China? The reason is very clear. The World Bank considers that in two years, in 2016, China will be already the first economy in the world. China is today the first export power country in the world. China is today an amazing 300 million people, food and beverage, fashion, sports, market, for those European companies that have a really winner product to sell and to give to the Chinese friends. So going back to the, the reason and talking about the first chapter, the model one, we will talk obviously about business management in Asian and European markets. And we will analyze the different European markets and we will analyze the different Asian markets, being for sure China one of the most important things. And always talking about winner and very practical examples. For example, Nutrexva Colacao, that is a very famous European milk and chocolate brand. When you ask Chinese people, for example, when you have, when is your Nichito Sedapin Park Colacao? When you ask Chinese people, do you know this brand in Colacao? Chinese people tell you, what in Putong la wai? Ni shua shema, tzada bin par tim Putong. They tell you, I don't know this brand in Colacao. So, here we need to be global, global and local. And then that the product, the price position, the placement strategy, and the communication proposal to the Chinese culture. For example, just two examples. When we talk about Colacao, in Chinese we say, gao le gao. La cow, gao le gao, very clear, very similar phonetics. And the meaning is tall, happy, tall. First example. Second example, if you ask Chinese people what they really like about cola cow, they will tell you the strawberry and banana flavor. Nothing to do with the milk and chocolate flavor that we like it very much in Europe. And finally, if you ask Chinese people which is the packaging, the grams, that they like to buy the pack, they tell you that they love 200 and 300 grams. Why not 250 grams as we do in Europe? Because in the Chinese culture, 250 means basically R Pi Wu, which means not very clever, not very smart people. So the Chinese culture is very, very important in order to localize, being global and local. That concept let's be local, will be one of the main concepts that we will analyze during the specialization course in Euro-Asian business management program of the Autonomous University of Barcelona. Model 2. Marketing plan in euro markets. Here we will focus on many things. Marketing strategy in the European and Asian markets, business opportunity analysis in European and Asiatic markets, for sure. But I think it's very important to pay attention to the customer behavior, the difference between the Asian and the European market customer behaviors. For example, we will analyze the Zara Inditex group example, and we will talk about very, very Asian concept as You Mianzi win face which is the, probably the most important thing for the Chinese market clients. Win phase, which means win prestige, social recognition. So Zara, for example, in that context, 
on an amazing local, global and local strategy, has built the brand name on an amazing way on the United States of America, in Europe, in Asia. And when you ask Chinese people about this brand name, everything goes through win phase. Basically why? Because the Zara brand name has been very well done. The management, the branding, management construction. First thing, obviously we'll talk about the importance of big local in the Asian market. For example, Women Tsai Tsung Wu mail Facebook. We don't have Facebook in China, we have Ren Ren. Women Tsai Beijing Shanghai email Twitter. Women Yo Xinlian Weibo. We don't have in China Twitter, we have Sina Weibo. So Zara being global, so really paying attention to the customer behaviors and how important it is for them be in contact with the brand with the brand and through the Chinese internet, they know for sure that it's very important to be e-glocal, which means being glocal with the Chinese internet. So Zara, as we will see during the master and the, exam, the, and the course, they have done an amazing e-marketing, electronic marketing strategy with Chinese characteristics. Five minutes, seven minutes, don't let me explain with all the tiles the program, but basically on the second module, marketing plan on in Eurasiatic markets. Module three, cultural impact in Euro-Asian business negotiation. When you talk with my friend Santiago Belenguer, general manager of Hire Spain, Hire is considered worldwide the number one home appliance multinational in the world. Being and it, that is the fifth consecutive year, the number one in the world in production and sales of, for example, washing machines. When you ask them what is the main challenge when, they, when we talk about the global strategy in higher, global and local, they told us, Manu, they told me in Chinese, Manu, the most difficult thing is what they call olive oil and water management. What does it mean? It means how important is be able to get the best thing about the Asian business people and the European business people working together. And that obviously sent us, let us arrive to the cross-cultural management point that will be analyzed also during the model three. So for those companies that want to be successful, have a successful position both in Asia and Europe, it's very important to pay attention to the culture difference between both places. And here, in order to be closer, we will mention the higher example, working for example with my clients and my friends of the Spanish Football League, FC Barcelona, Real Madrid, in order to be closer as a brand name to the local Spanish people and doing sponsorships and digital marketing actions with the main players of the Spanish Football League. We'll talk about that during the program. The most important thing is focus on multicultural marketing strategy. It has been a pleasure to meet you. See you in Barcelona at the Autonomous University of Barcelona. That's Manu Sanchez Monasterio, marketing professor at the Master Suave, marketing professor also at the Sadi Business School and Beijing Tashue at Peking University, president of the China Marketing Center of the Barcelona Marketing Club, and at the same time, one of the main members of the SADE China Europe Club, belonging to the executive committee. And especially, and more than less, a passionate professor here at the Autonomous University of Barcelona. Hua Yin Imenza Barcelona Tashue, welcome you at Barcelona Autonomous University. 再见，再见。